Pokemon X and Y are some of the easiest Pokemon games ever created, to the point where some folks have gone as far as to make every trainer level 100. But speedrunners don't need to go that far to make this game a challenge, because they can't even beat the game optimally with one Pokemon, and will instead need five. But why? Well, under normal circumstances, speedrunners will just take their Pokemon and dunk on every trainer that dare stands in their way. But Pokemon X and Y's gym and story order didn't make this task that simple. In fact, for the first time in speedrunning history, the grass starter would be the go-to option. While this may be surprising with how insane Greninja and Delphox are, their pre-evolved forms just aren't good enough to handle the early portions of the game. Fennekin's fire moves get countered by Water Sport in the Bug Gym, which halves your fire moves power by 50%. While Froakie gets countered by your rival Tear Nose, Swords Dancing Corphish. But the biggest reason to pick Chespin is so you don't gotta deal with Chespin. Its final evolved form, Chestnut, is quite annoying and slow to deal with, with the move Spiky Shield and its massive bolt. This will make Chespin the first Pokemon needed to beat X and Y as fast as possible. Pokemon number two will be Bunnelby. While we never actually use it in battle, Bunnelby is quite essential for getting the next Pokemon needed to beat the game with. And unfortunately for Chespin, we only need it for three total fights before we box it for good, because we're coming up on our third Pokemon, Farfetch'd. Farfetch'd is a trade Pokemon in X and Y that comes with a guaranteed 31 IVs in speed with a jolly nature. And this is the exact Pokemon we need to KO the Bug Gym with as fast as possible. But first, we gotta say bye bye Bunnelby, cause they'll be the one we trade away for Farfetch, who will sweep everything from Viola to right before Grant. This is all thanks to Aerial Ace and a cheap Swords Dance TM we get right before leaving Lumio City. But even with access to Swords Dance, Grant can't be handled well by anything in our party, and is probably the biggest reason why we need to switch Pokemon so many times. Not only is his entire team 7 levels higher than Farfetch, but his lead Amora gets the insanely strong takedown with the Refrigerator ability. This ability turns any normal move into an ice move, making Grant a massive problem, which means it's time to grab another Pokemon. And that Pokemon is the infamous Halucha, who dominates Pokemon X and Y as well as other 3DS Pokemon categories. With a dual typing that's only resisted by a select few Pokemon, we can obliterate many Pokemon trainers and the next three gym leaders that stand in our way. But this Pokemon presents itself as an issue due to friendship being the most important factor in Pokemon X and Y. And I'm not talking about the friendship between these four awful rivals. I'm talking about the friendship statistics on Halucha. Not only do you have to catch this thing in a luxury ball to increase friendship rates, but you have to hope for a good enough massage inside of Salage City where Grant is located. There are a ton of time-based events in Pokemon X and Y. The first one involves starting up your Nintendo DS on one of two holidays, Valentine's Day or White Day. Speedrunners will do this in order to get the sweetheart item to increase friendship. And the other time-based event is giving your Pokemon a massage. Much like Sweethearts, massages will increase the friendship level of a Pokemon once a day. But if you set up your clock to roll past midnight in the game, you can sneak in two of them into one speedrun. Just like I can sneak in a good time to ask you to subscribe if you're enjoying the content and one more cool videos on Pokemon speedrunning. While we do have other things that affect friendship levels like giving the Soothe Bell, using X items, feeding vitamins, healing, leveling, and walking, massages become the most important source of friendship since it's such a massive boost. But the worst part is, the massages you get have three random levels to them, low, medium, and high, making the journey to get to high friendship on Halucha that much more difficult. The reason we want high friendship will show up later, but first, we have to beat up Grant, Def Warp to Geosyn City to skip Team Flare Grunt, make it through this crystal cave, and arrive in Shalor City, which is the location of the final Pokemon needed to beat Pokemon X and Y. Once you've beaten Corona, you'll be introduced to the Mega Evolution mechanic, which is a pretty slow mechanic that we'll rarely use in Pokemon XY speedruns. But more importantly, the Pokemon we use it on is Lucario, the final Pokemon we need to beat X and Y. But even with its guaranteed IVs, it can't exactly beat the game on its own just yet. It needs the help of Halucha's friendship, which is why we'll use Halucha to beat the Grass Gym instead of Lucario to get the most broken speedrunning item to ever exist, the Lucky Egg. 
A lucky egg is an item that boosts the amount of EXP you naturally earn by 150%. And the only way to get it consistently in Pokemon X and Y is to gain friendship. With just enough friendship, you can go into this hotel near Comarine City, near the Comarine City train station, talk to this lady, and boom! Nice free lucky egg to give Lucario to dominate the game with. Special shoutouts to Lapras, who works as a fantastic HM butler, and the random Kanto starter you get from Sycamore that let us avoid having to put the box art legendary in our party. Because even if you run away, you're forced to catch this legendary. But with six Pokemon in our party, we're given the option to throw it into our box immediately so that we can use Lucario for the rest of the game. Getting them all the way to level 72, right before the Elite Four, which lets us crush every single fight without issue with moves like Close Combat, Shadow Claw, Rock Tomb, and Sword Dance. But this massive sweep wouldn't be possible without every little piece of this complicated, unique speedrun. Subscribe for more Pokemon speedrunning content, and check out the playlist on the right for more videos like this one.